before the station identification. Liberation Suite. You've certainly been getting some very uh, good uh, audiences and uh, attendances since you've been over here. So uh, obviously there's uh, uh, quite a, a healthy Christian movement in this country, would you say? Oh, without a doubt, yes. Mm. I, I, even in Ireland. Uh, <laughs> that That's one thing that interests me greatly because you must have been there during probably the worst period of uh, all the um, uh, internal troubles. Well, as a matter of fact, when we... When we first arrived in Ireland, we, we were right in the middle of, if you remember back last May, the general workers' strike, and, and there was not too much electricity, and, and the, the, our flight from, we had a flight from Dublin to um, Belfast, and we missed it, and uh, there wasn't another flight for three or four days when there normally is three or four a day, mm. and so things were quite in a, in a mess there for a while, but... Uh, People responded very well to, to our music and, and more importantly to the message. Yeah. Didn't you feel a bit nervous because I know many artists won't even go to Northern Ireland uh, even now, now, even though there's a truce on. But, uh, you know, obviously you must have had uh, a great deal of faith to uh, put yourself at risk, as it were. Yes, at first we didn't, we didn't realize that it was as bad as it was. Now, you jumped was in with both feet. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But then again, it even when we were standing in the bombed out train station there and her, David's wife was eight months pregnant and their troops were up and down the streets and it just, I don't know, it's really strange that there was a real sense of a, a peace, you know, not one of these, uh, not a peace that you go off and meditate about, but I mean just something that you're, you're right there in the actual situation and it didn't seem to bother. Uh, and two weeks later, although we were there for two weeks not being able to do anything, when we when we finally got our equipment, then uh, from that time until the time that we left five months later, we were almost book solid. It was fantastic. We found out why we were supposed to be there as far as we know. You even yeah. set up in the street, didn't you? Right, because you? most of the street scene, uh, downtown centers were blocked off. We were able to set up right downtown and hundreds and even thousands sometimes we were able to play to. That's fascinating. That's good. Yeah. You just, just did a free concert. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, mainly supported by Christians in uh, different areas who knew what we were doing, yeah. who understood and helped us out financially. Did you find any difference between the, the Protestant and the Catholics as far as appreciation of what you were doing? Not really. Not Well, mainly, of course, uh, we were put up by Protestants. We were mainly in that connection. But uh, the young people, Catholics and Protestants, we were able to play in... And we we found that they were very friendly on both sides, and e even played in the predominantly Catholic town of Newry. Mm. Soon after they'd had the blackout there, mm. we played right after an IRA rally, and uh, many many IRA men in the crowd mm. who listened and it heard something for the first time that they'd never really heard before. And we were invited to a uh, Catholic's house afterwards, and it was really nice. Well, I think there's a message there for everybody in that, don't you think, Paul? Mm, certainly do. Um, let's play a little bit more music.